everyone, and welcome to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, home of the Bayou Bengals and the stadium called Death Valley since the late 50s. Today, a couple of SEC teams get ready to square off in what ought to be an old-fashioned slobber knocker. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off a of bye week, the Vanderbilt Commodore taking on the ninth-ranked team in the land, the LSU Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. On first down, here comes this offense. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. The give is to Williams. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk out to the 30-yard line. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Off the play fake. He fires one deep down the right side. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. That's a really nice job holding that pass in. And you think LSU has just been such a breeding ground in recent years for receivers. Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, OBJ, Jarvis Landry. They all have the ability to make a play anywhere on the field. And that's what this guy can do. You can line him up anywhere. He can run routes at all three levels of the secondary. The defense has to know where he is lined up every single play. They made the defense pay with that last big chunk of yardage. Now first and 10 from the 30. Hit the F, got some room, head to the goal line. And he's sprinting, he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, tight. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Makes the catch. It's Daniels. At midfield, he's got room. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. From the gun, the running back looking for room. At the 20, he's got space. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. The Tigers with the first and ten. Now from inside the red zone. He's got it still on his feet. That completion will take them inside the ten to the nine-yard line. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. Pushes ahead. He works his way ever closer, all the way down to the one-yard line. Second and goal for this offense. Pushes toward the goal line. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Tigers! You know, this offense... Knew LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive did. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. The give is to Williams. Finds a crease at the 20. He's loose. He's at the 40. The 20. 
the 10. Touchdown, Bayou Bengals. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Yeah, coming into the game, you look at the stats and you say top 10 offense in scoring, so they better be able to create. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect now. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now on the same page. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught downfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. They're down to the 32-yard line on first and 10. He wants to throw. Can't find a man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. They'll leave it with him. On the move at the 30. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Man, that is so tough. When you play defense, you get your eyes on your keys and you got to read them, but sometimes they lie to you. You can see the little misdirection by this offense. Fooled the defense, created some space. The offense took advantage and made a huge play. Still looking on the move. Got some room in to the goal line. Touchdown, Tigers! And they take it in for six more points. The best way I can think of to describe this cat, he's like a human get-out-of-jail-free card. He'll make it work no matter the circumstance. And so as a defense, Reese, I mean, you've got to be aware of what this guy is doing at all times. I mean, you, if he's not just staying in the pocket, and he takes... LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Snap it to the back. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, LSU! Well, this offense is top ten in the country in points per game because... Guys, this offense coming back out onto the field. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. They'll throw it on first down. Trying to beat the D deep. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Boy, guys, they got off to a great start with that big first play on this drive. But now a couple of incompletions leaves them in a hole. They'll run play action. He rifles one deep down the right side. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't get in these big chunk plays, 
through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The aerial assault continues. He's got it on the move. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. This offense has been a juggernaut, and they have a chance to pass. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, LSU! Up and over, Yama will be there into the end zone. And you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. They've been outstanding here in this first half. Might as well try for the knockout punch, David. Yeah, confidence has to be at an all-time high. Great first half. I'm going to... Going over the top. He's got it at the 30. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. That last play changed everything on this possession. They've got it first and 10 inside the 30. Looking to move it through the air. Getting some heat. He'll pull it down. Keeps it and gets... Got enough space! And he'll race it to the house! Touchdown, Tigers! You know, oftentimes in college football, the best offenses are the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top 10 in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can take it the distance on any given play. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Lasso. Lasso. Timeout, LSU. seconds to go here in the half. Let's see how they play it on first and ten. They'll start this drive with a pass. He turns that loose down the right side. And he breaks into the open. Touchdown, Tigers! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Sometimes it's players, not plays, or sometimes it's both. And when you got that guy and you put him in the slot and you let him burn for a go route right past a nickel corner or one of the reserve corners or a safety, that's a great job by the offense and that speed you can't teach. Just complete and utter dominance in this one. Outplayed their opponent and took care of business. Yeah, total domination in all three phases of the game. Offense, defense, and special teams. This team came ready to play, and man, it was pedal to the metal right from the opening kickoff. And that's how you like it. 
Forget the close games, forget the heartbreakers, the, oh, this play could decide it. Just frying pan meat face, ball game over. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.